Little surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. <clears throat> well, hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Today, finally, is Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. Yeah! For anybody watching on the replay, which there's lots of you, appreciate you. All of those timestamps are going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video, courtesy of my main man. It's Jeremy V. Uh, and, and as well as those are going to be chapters. There's chapters across this video, so you can just click, zing, go to whichever uh, whichever section you want in this vlog. But appreciate you guys being here. Frank and Miser, Big Mood Giraffe, I see you there. Bob Ohms, too low. How are those Ohms, Bob? Too low? How are those Ohms, Bob? Very much appreciate you guys being here. Let me give you a quick rundown of how tonight's going to work because, oh, baby, we have a whole mess of liquid tastings. And I don't know why I wanted to do this tonight, but... The other night, uh, on Tuesday night, we did a build stream on Bogan, Sam Bogan's channel, and I just had some boxes of liquids that I was going through that, like, I feel like I had never seen these liquids before. I just, like, I have just no memory of them. Some of them, some of them are from New Zealand, some of them are DIYs, and so I started thinking, man, I have a whole bunch of liquids that I really would like to try and get into, you know? So tonight is just like, like I tried to make it a little uh, infomercial-y looking like, oh, what do I do with all these liquids? I don't even know. I have too many liquids. And they're like, you know, I open a cabinet and e-liquid bottles just fall on me. And I turn to the camera and I'm like, what do I do with all this e-liquid? Well, we're going to be vaping it tonight. So let me give you a quick rundown and let you know how it's going to go tonight. Beer and what I've been vaping, of course. So basically what's going to happen is segment, liquid tasting, segment, liquid tasting, segment, liquid tasting, segment, liquid tasting. I have a whole mess of liquids over here that we're going to vote on. Although I don't have any sort of hierarchy, I'm just going to be picking random ones to face off against each other. So you guys will still need to vote, still need to vote, but I have five RDAs all set up and ready to go. There's a, a recoil over there. There's an RDA for vaping. There's a TM24 Pro Series. There's a Goon 1.5 and there's an Axial Pro all freshly re-wicked, just waiting, waiting to taste those liquids. So that's what we're going to do tonight. That's it. That's the rundown, Jim, and I'm sticking to it. So the first, actually the first thing I want to do, the first thing I want to do, if I may, if I might, is uh, it's just that thing where I got to hear from one of my subscribers. It's it's literally, I say it's my new favorite thing, but it's been, it's been like my favorite. Oh, yeah. I can put my arm up here. <laughs> Swapped my camera around a little bit because when I first moved into this office, this is just where I set the camera and I was feeling nostalgic. So I thought, let's get back to that. And I forgot, I always used to rest my arm up here and now I can rest my arm up here again. Maybe it's a little bit too high. I can rest my arm up here. My favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. So right now, I would like to hear from Ryan and his little dog, Duke. What say you guys? Give me a pull, give me a pull. And the other 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 pull. <laughs> oh. God, I love a pupper video. R Ryan, thank you. Shout out to you and shout out to Duke for the double paw trick. That is some serious canine skills right there. If anybody else out there has a video similar to Ryan's that you'd like to see featured at the very beginning of the Thursday vlog video, you can send them on over to me. It's nick at grimgreen.com. Just, you know, keep it quick. Show your pet. Show your family. Shout out a shop. Shout out. Talk about what you've been vaping. I'd like to see your what I've been vaping setups. You can send them on over to me. Nick at grimgreen.com. Just be sure to mark your subject, that one thing. Chances are I'll see the attachment and I'll use it and, you know, file it accordingly for this vlog. But uh, you want to watch it again? Let's just watch Ryan and Duke again. Give me a pull. Give me a pull. And the other 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 pull. <laughs> oh. Duke just looks confused. I love that. I love confused dogs. We don't deserve dogs. As human beings... We do not deserve dogs. They're too loving and pure and, and just wonderful creatures. We do not deserve them. But uh, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that. I did do a poll. Speaking of liquid tastings, there's a running poll right now on the chat, which I'm going to end this poll right now, actually. It's so we can end this poll so we can make room for some uh, 
you know, some other polls that need to happen as far as uh, voting for very random liquid tastings. But uh, the question I posed was, uh, would you vape the worst liquid on earth if it was all you had left? All of you guys are really very brave. You all said yes. None of you said no. None of you, few of you said no. It was actually pretty close, 45 to 55%. Brave, <laughs> brave subscribers vaping the worst liquid on earth. What if the worst liquid on earth was like just baby barf flavored? You would agree to vape that? <laughs> you would agree to vape that? I'm just kidding. We'll put up another poll for the liquids, but uh, real quick, let's do some, let's look. I don't know if I saw any super chats come in, but there might've been some super chats. I'll run the bumper anyway. Got one super chat from Wayne. Appreciate that very much, bro. Uh, fist bump to my bro. Keep up the good work. Uh, st starting day at work with your vlog and MXPX in the background. Hell yeah, MXPX. MXPX. I like running across other random MXPX fans. <laughs> if you're an MXPX fan, please let me know in the chat or in the comments down below because I'm a big MXPX fan. But what I'd like to do actually right now, actually... We can't do a vlog without beer. Yeah, flavor is subjective. Flavor, look, Sally, yes, you're absolutely right. Flavor is subjective. And that's one of the things, like, I'll talk about this later, but one of the things that I really like about doing very random liquid tastings like this is finding those really terrible liquids that I would just never vape, stuff that actually repulses me. And then I think this is somebody else's favorite liquid. There's other people that like actively seek it out and to, to purchase it, to vape it because they enjoy it. And me, I can't stand it. That alone, that just goes to show how subjective taste really is. Crazy subjective. Speaking of subjective tastes, I, let's have beers. the beer we got tonight comes from State 48 Brewing. Uh, this was a patron beer. This is the Sound of Freedom. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Sound of Freedom, Mosaic Hopped IPA from 238 Brewing. It's just a little can, just a little 7%er. Don't worry. If you want to get really silly, I have a, you know, I have a beer on backup, ready to go. But we're gonna drink this beer, and uh, this did come from a patron. I don't remember who who it came from because I'm a terrible person and I didn't write anything on the bottom of this can. I didn't. There's no name on the bottom of this. I went back through my patron DMs like 15 minutes ago trying to find the the person that sent me this because it's like their favorite beer of all time. I want to have a little. The sound of freedom. What does the what does freedom sound like? I'll tell you what freedom sounds like. Freedom sounds like, mmm, mmm, tangy, sweet. I'm gonna be pouring this into a uh, Grim Army tulip style glass. Um, I'll have these on the website someday. We're gonna make more of these. These have been out of stock for a very, very, very long time. But there you go, mosaic hopped IPA using those mosaic hops. I can I, that little bit of foam that I tasted was a little bit, you know. Piney, hoppy, hoppy, oaky, piney, <laughs> cedary. At least that's what I was getting from it. Smells like an IPA. I have a feeling this is going to tang my jowls. The jowls are about to get... <laughs> jowls are about to get tanged. That's, that's super delicious. Super delicious. Man, that's a little bit bitey at the end. In fact, I would call the finish, the finish of this freedom, sound of freedom. Freedom sounds like bubbles. Yeah. I would describe this finish as a, it's champagne-y. It's real dry, real astringent. You get a little bit of like, this is gonna sound bad, but it's not bad. <laughs> it's piney, but in 
a really authentically piney kind of way. If you've ever been around a pine tree um, and you pull a pine needle off, and I think I've told this story a bunch of times when, when I'm doing beer tastings. Sorry. It's mostly just foam. Foam burps. You take a pine needle off of a pine tree and you break the pine needle in half and you like smell it, maybe lick it a little bit. There's like this bitter, this like bitter, astringent drying sensation that happens. And that is in this beer, but in a less gross, weird eating pine needles kind of way. It's intended. It's intended to taste like that in this beer. Um, well, that's effing delicious. I don't know exactly what I compare it with. I got no good tobaccos going. I got no good like bakeries going. Literally nothing. I got nothing even kind of savory going. Tropical. Let's try tropical. Let's try Omboyosis tropical. I think that goes well with an IPA. Yeah, sure. That's actually pretty good. Gets rid of that, uh, the, the real heavy, piney, sort of earthy flavor to it. Brings out a lot more of the sweetness here. Tropical. Whew. Freaking delightful. Freaking delightful. All right. Well, I got a beer. And don't worry. I have a backup beer if it comes to that, which... I doubt it'll come to that. I doubt we'll get to the backup beer. But hey, you never know. So here's something that for sure just happened. I know I saw some super chats come in, so let's get back over there. We're going to be running long tonight, so... Oh, I thought my whole computer froze for a second. Did you see the look of sheer panic and terror on my face for like 0.2 seconds? SVK vapes in with the super chat. I was listening to Talking Heads Burning Down the House. Great song. David Byrne told you to give me 10 bucks. Dang, David Byrne. All right. Fucking A, Talking Heads. I knew I always liked the Talking Heads a lot. I was a big fan of the Talking Heads for good reason, too. <laughs> Appreciate that very much, SVK. Barbara, how are you doing? Had my cataract surgery yesterday. Your new bionic eye told you to give me five bucks. Love you. Love you too, Barbara. Wait, you don't have a real bionic eye. Are you trying to pull one over on your cousin here? I know you had cataract surgery, but I don't remember them installing any sort of like Terminator Mecha Godzilla bionic eyeball, which would be cool. Tim J. Very gracious of you, Tim. Uh, Nick, I'm still buying orange juice online and receiving it via USPS. Yes, Tim J. Many people are still buying orange juice online and receiving it via USPS. I have in my possession boxes delivered by USPS that also contain orange juice, if you know what I mean, Tim J. And I think you do. Keep buying it. Keep buying it and keep doing it. Keep buying it and keep doing it. We'll talk about this a little bit when we get to the news and advocacy, but if you played by the rules with the FDA, you got fucked. And if you didn't, then now you get to sell in the black market. Appreciate you being here, Tim J. Uh, Kristen, that's very gracious of you. I remember a day long ago and you did, and you did vape a really bad liquid. If I remember, it was a dare. There, yes, I have vaped, <laughs> I've vaped plenty of really bad liquids. You might be thinking of the nasty liquid prank that uh, Omboyosi did while we were at a vape show. He mixed up um, just the worst liquid on earth. It was like bourbon, celery, like terrible shit, hibiscus, like weird liquid. And he filled up a sub ohm tank and had me hit it at a vape show. And it was uh, hyper gross. Made me actually like gag, gag a little bit in my mouth. Since then, I haven't had like that mung bean liquid that came in the pods, kind of tasted like a burrito. Um, I've had some, I can't recall like really bad liquids recently, like really, truly bad liquids recently. Appreciate that, Kristen. James, that's very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, James, uh, Jim James here. Oh yeah, consider this a down payment for Patreon. Great build stream with Bogan. Thanks for all you do. James, very much appreciated that, bro. Very much. We had a great time. Me and Bogan just can't not have fun when we hang out. We just goof off and we like crack on other reviewers and it's just, 
It's just a good time, Jim James. Appreciate you. Bradley, now that we're back to this angle, Dr. Dre should be back up front. Glad to be here today. Thank Okay. Bradley's not wrong. Bradley's not wrong. But I put Megadeth up at the front. Better? CKY fell down. Dre, front and center. That's much better. Much better, Bradley. All right. You know, I want it to feel good. I want it to feel like, you know, my cool vibey office. Like you guys are hanging out with me in the vape layer. Remember when I used to call it the vape layer? <laughs> I like you guys are hanging out with me in the vape layer. All right, super chats. All right. Um, real let me sorry, let me do real quickly do a few things that I've been vaping. Um it, it kind of got out of hand a little bit. It kind of got out of hand a little bit. There's a few things that I just keep grabbing, grabbing for, like the UL Aglios. Rich Kids of Instagram is in here. 0.2 mesh coils. I, I kind of like this a little bit more than like the drag, the drag X or the drag S. Um, really been enjoying that. Aegis Legend with a recoil of course this has been a banger on my desk that is uh that has some frank and atticus e-liquid in it baked apple custard from frank and atticus out of new zealand holy crap that is delicious um i've got a bogan odin with that sleeper rda from last week i still have a drag x plus set up with that torch rta because i really really like it um been using this a lot squonking like crazy but here's the problem Here's the problem I'm running into. I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say it. I don't want to. Just I want you to know I don't want to say this. I can taste the bottle. I can't not taste a silicone bottle. I don't know if I have like hypersensitive tasting or something, but this is pony on acid. It tastes like pony on acid mixed with a silicone bottle. It tastes like a Halloween mask with strawberries. I can't not taste the silicone bottle and it's really hyper upsetting me. I don't know that there's another silicone bottle or non silicone bottle that will fit in here because it's flat and rounded on the back. I'm hoping I can find a non silicone replacement for that squonker because that's really bumming me out. I set up this Zion RDA and the Bogan build stream. And I didn't know that this was a banger, but this is kind of a banger. It gets a little bit spitty but it's kind of a rad little banger. That's on the Haas Tour, been using that. Um, now, if you're gonna ask me, look, we don't need to drag all this out much longer. This isn't a, you know, we don't need to do the full vape buffet. There's some Havocs that hang around because I love the Havocs and I learned you can peel those uh, stupid panels off and replace them. So I'm gonna peel both the panels off of mine. One of mine is right now in the bathroom soaking in Goo Gone so that I can get all the stickiness off of it. but. If you're going to ask me what I've really, truly been vaping, every every time I grab for it, I'm grabbing for these. It's a mix with a, with the with Todd's. That's Todd's Har RTA up there. Oleg Drip Tip, Banana Cream Beauty on the inside. Oh, oh. It's incredible. It's an incredible vape. It's just so mellow and relaxing. You get some warmth. You get some incredible flavor. Um, tripod, back in hot mouth-to-lung vaping action. This has been my mouth-to-lung banger. It's just the one I want to use forever and always. I don't know why. I'm just on a big big tripod kick right now, 1.2 millimeter airflow, and that's a Boxer Classic DNA 100C. You can see the screen there. DNA 100C, 21700. 5050, 12 milligram water Malone. Shout out to Mike K for the overabundance of, of water Malone. I have a good amount of water Malone that honestly, when this water Malone arrived, Mike K, I just breathed the biggest sigh of relief. I went, okay. I felt so relieved that I had like 500 mils of a 12 milligram e liquid. I love it. Thank you. And water Malone in a 12 milligram is just so damn good. Lastly, but certainly not leastly, it's that my vapes clutch X18 parallel mod 
Type 2 on top, Rich Kids of Instagram on the inside, and oh, look at that, a Stormtrooper button. This has been my jam. This is what I took with me out yesterday to run all of my errands. Uh, I just love it. I love the X18, and I and I love the Type 2. It's a banging, banging, uh, banging setup. Blackhawk from the chat says, the Mod Maker LDPE bottles should do it. The Mod Maker. All right. Should fit. It's a, oh, <laughs> pardon me. It's a weird sized bottle. It's a weird sized and shape. It's a weird size and shape bottle. Yeah, fuck yeah, Ruff McGruff. Shout out to Ruff McGruff for the black mix. I love this thing, bro. Love it. It's been in my hand more than most anything else. And that's it. That's what I'm vaping. As far as pods go, it's the Weenax, it's the V-Through, it's the Soren Air Pro. I'm out of Weenax pods at the moment, and that's upsetting me, but it's been the V-Through and the Soren Air Pro. These just sit on my desk and are my pod bangers. Pod bangers. And I like them. And I like this beer. So, what do you guys want to do now? I would like to, let's see if there's any super chats. There we go. There we go. That's all we need. Let's see. James Bradley. Okay. Uh, okay. We got Dr. Dre back up front. Okay, good. We're all caught up on super chats. Let's, what time is it? We we're, we're, were in this a half hour. I have so much mail to do. All right. Let's do a very random liquid tasting. I knew that's how this was going to go tonight. Segment, liquid tasting. Segment, liquid tasting. So right now, I got a recoil, OG recoil, freshly wicked. It's the black unholy version, not that it really matters. So I'm going to pick, I have a whole a whole stash sort of of e-liquids right here. And I'm going to pick three out of here that we're going to put head to head. I know there's some liquid in the vape mail, so we can add those to the stash and I'm going to try to keep these like there's some DIYs and there's some commercial e-liquids. And so I just want to try to keep it uh, as fair as possible. So let's start with this. There we go. We are going to put I'm going to make a I'm going to pick up. I'm going to make a, a poll in the chat. I'm going to create a poll liquid tasting. Here we go. First one. Mmm. Second one. Okay. And the third one is... How do I even spell this? Okay. So before I post this in, in the chat, the poll, Jubalicious... Would you be shocked to learn that there may or may not be some jubbies? <laughs> there may or may not be some jubbies in the lineup tonight. Maybe. Right now, I'm going to try to decide between these three liquids. And I want to taste them all equally. So literally, may the best man win. This is an Australian juice from El Rascals. This is Dragon Menthelia. It's a dragon fruit menthol. This is wild kraken, which doesn't have a flavor profile on it, but it's a red bottle called wild kraken. And then this is from the plume room. Okay. The plume room. This is called candied Cavendish, which I don't even know what that is. I don't know what candied Cavendish is. So the poll is up in the chat. Eventually, Let's see it happen, YouTube. Don't let me down. Show me the poll. There's the poll. No. Okay. The poll is up. Start voting now, please. And I'll, I'll leave this on. In fact, we'll just, let's put some, uh, here, let's put on some, uh, some lo-fi chilled beats in the background while we, while we vote. The Plume Room, the Wild Kraken, or the Dragon Menthelia. These are your choices. You may vote now. Leave this up for a few more, uh, a few more 30 seconds. 
Wild, I know, Gordo. Doesn't it just sound cool? Cavendish is a tobacco. Ooh, see? What up, Douglas Roach? We're voting on liquids, bro. Get your vote in. Wild Kraken, Plume Room, or Dragon Menthelia? Menthol dragon fruit, I believe. Well, we're going to have some DIYs in here, Nephron. Don't even trip, dog. Don't even trip. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. I don't know where we're at. Oh, we. Yep. Wild Kraken uh, by a land landslide. Landslide Wild Kraken. Are you kidding me? That is some... Uh, that is some landslide winning action by Wild Kraken. 56% of the votes is Wild Kraken. Plume Room came in second place, Candied Cavendish. Dragon Menthelia, only 15% of the votes. Only 15%. This is the libertarian. This is the libertarian. <laughs> it's the libertarian of the voting process. All right, I'm going to end this poll now. Let's jump in. Let's crack into this Wild, wild Kraken. Wild Kraken. Ah, you had to choose it just based on the name ping? I understand that. What? This is a, a bakery flavor for sure. Bakery. It's got to be a bakery or a custard or something. Is anybody in the chat, have you ever had Wild Kraken? Is this like your ADV? That's what I'm, that's what I like discovering. That's what I like finding out. All right. Um, bakery, buttery. I'm leaning towards this being some sort of like vanilla custard frosting type of situation. It tastes very sweet. It tastes like there is definitely sweetener in this. Sweetener, super sweet. You know. All the good liquids have sweetener and super sweet. <laughs> you can pretend to like liquids without super sweet, but you're just fooling yourself, really. Now, let's see what we got here. 0.12. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of vapors happening. Let's get this wattage up higher. We're tasting this on the, uh, like I said, recoil on the def mo on the def mods box. Guar box. There it goes. That's what we're looking for. That's much better. Much better. All right, let's try to... <laughs> the recoil top caps are always a little bit of a... Uh... <clears throat> you motherfuckers. <sighs> when O-rings just sit and dry out and get jacked constantly... The other day, I pulled out a Recoil Rebel that I haven't vaped on in probably four years. Pulled it out, and it was just... All right, this cap's not going on here. Is any cap going to go on here? Let's see. Let's find out. O-rings uh, degrade, obviously, over time. And... Holy... Fuck butts. I'm going to have to like put all my energy, all my weight onto this and force it down. I cannot get it down. O-rings just degrade over time. And you can sit like, yeah, holy fuck. Uh. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. I can't get a top cap on. <laughs> I I can't. I used all my strength right there to get this fucking top cap on. Ugh. Fuck you. All right. Hey, we got it. Crisis averted. Stupid O-rings. Bums me out. Now I'm realizing that all of the all of the RDAs and RTAs that I just have sitting right now are probably all going to need new O-rings if and when I desire to like put them back in my regular rotation again. 
They just degrade. They corrode. You know, it's stuff I didn't even think about. There's a time where you're just like, I mean, RDAs and RDAs and RTAs and RDAs, and I'm just using them and putting them away and using them and putting them away. And it's like, I didn't think to save all my baggies of O-rings. You know, it's like, you kind of got to do that. All right. Uh, Wild Kraken. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw this, I thought it said Wild Karen. And then I laughed my fucking ass off until I realized it said Wild Kraken. But if anybody out there, look, there's a free name, Wild Kraken, or you can call it Wild Karen if you want to. I think that would be hilarious. 80 watts Wild Kraken. Let's go. Uh, uh, custardy. Custard. Okay, hang on. Give me a second to vape this. I'll be back in just one moment. definitely a custard. Dolphinately a custard. This custard is real sweet, real vanilla-y. I, would I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a vanilla cupcake with frosting. Like that's kind of the vibe that I get from it. It's a custard, but it's a little bit too sweet. A little bit too sweet, honestly. Dean, you're going to call it wild, Karen? Good. It's custardy. It's really sweet, really, really hyper sweet custard. I get a little bit of something that I don't, it's, it's, a, it's an undesirable flavor component from custards that I get sometimes where occasionally, occasionally it just tastes a little bit pa papery, like paper or cardboard or something like wet cardboard. Does anybody else get that? Wet cardboard or like papery, wet cardboard. It's kind of, you know, it's a custard and it's real sweet, but there's an off flavor in this. There's an off flavor in this that's preventing me from like fully jumping in and like really enjoying it. It's tasty. Wild Kraken is tasty. It's real tasty, but there is like a weird off off component that I'm getting like every once in a while. It's like that paper. That's all I can, it's paper. Cardboard custard, yeah, cardboard custard, paper custard. It's, it's rich, it's vanilla-y, it's creamy, it's custardy, but it is, uh, damn it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wild Kraken, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wild Kraken. Paper custard, paper custard. And that's a thing, like, even though I personally find this liquid to be not crazy enjoyable, like it's fine, but I'm I'm not gonna go out of my way to vape Wild Kraken or purchase Wild Kraken again. But I know that there's a custard person who's like, Wild Kraken, that's the only custard I vape. I love it, it's my favorite custard. It's just the right level of sweetness and everything. So. Even if I dump on a juice like that, I don't like it. It doesn't mean it's like bad or, you know, gross. It just means I don't like it. I can taste paper in this for some reason. Generic cardboard, USPS, Amazon. Oh, that's a good look. That's a good, uh, perfectly legitimate uh, question. That's a perfectly legitimate inquiry. Let's see. Let's try to narrow this down. I get it's more like a, I don't know, like a cup. 
you know, like a paper cup, like you get a big gulp cup, big gulp cup, kind of like a big gulp cup, that paper. It is creamy. And honestly, there's a little bit of like a bourbon-y sort of bourbon alcohol kind of flavor in this. All right, Kraken. All right, Wild Kraken. Not a bad little custard. Not a really bad little custard. Custard. Does it taste like a slush? <laughs> Does not taste like a slush bomb. <laughs> slush bombs. Come on. I haven't told that story in forever. And now I can't unscrew this because I screwed it down so tight. I'm trying to get the goddamn top cap on there look away Ugh. that's probably why my o-rings get jacked because i use just fucking a giant wrench to unscrew this that's all right what are you gonna do all right well not a bad little liquid tasting we got to taste some wild karen some wild custard karen wild karen karen's gone wild <laughs> that's ridiculous okay so what i'm gonna do right now bourbon might be tasting the cork let's see if uh, i think a couple more came in yeah we'll be right back patches pa <laughs> yo yo patches thick flanders lives on thick flanders fuck yeah thick flanders bro <laughs> I haven't thought about Thick Flanders in forever. Thick Flanders. Derek, already Jubbies 2024. Already with the Jubbies 2024. Don't worry. You're going to get to spam Jubbies into the, into the chat like you can't imagine a little bit later on. New Wave Dave says, I was watching Sesame Street with your little girl. The count was counting money. And when he gets a five, he said, five dollars for Nick. Ah, ah, ah. Me and the count were tight, and you had no idea, New Wave Dave. How blown away were you? Were you just like, what? Did you turn to your daughter? You're like, did you hear that? Did you hear the count say that? It's craziness. Gabe Claus, that's right. We have some birthdays. At least one really important birthday. It's Mother Truck and Patrick Conquest's birthday. Mother Truck and Patrick Conquest of Crab People fame. Mr. Patrick Conquest Pants. Mr. Patrick Use My Mouth Conquest. <laughs> I love you, bro. We're going to sing happy birthday to Patrick Conquest. If anybody else has a birthday, dude, let me know in the chat. Eifer says, hey, Nick, what up? I can't believe I almost forgot about the vlog. Eifer. Eifer? I find that very hard to believe, Eifer. You're here every Thursday, rain or shine, and generally with a super chat, a pretty funny super chat. And you almost forgot about the vlog. Well, here's your punishment. Drink more beer. Matt Sinister, that's very gracious of you. Oh, Matt Sinister was listening to Howard Stern, and while he was talking about how he pleasures himself, oh, okay, he said, give Grim Green five bucks. Uh, when was the last time you did push-ups? Can I be real honest with you, Matt Sinister? I mean, really, really honest with you right now? Yesterday. I can't believe Howard Stern mentions my name while he's talking about how he pleasures himself, although it doesn't surprise me. Howard Stern's like a kinky guy. He probably gets off on vape reviewers. He probably just watches us like porn while he masturbates. Yesterday was the last time I did push-ups, Matt Sinister. Yesterday. So I'm going to do some, some push-ups right now, real quick. Let's do 10 push-ups. Who wants to do 10 push-ups with me? Who's doing it? Nobody? Come on. Uh, where can I do it? You won't won't see. I can do it right here. <laughs> and you still might not see. Nope, you're not going to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy crap, Matt Sinister. Ah. <sighs> All right. That was my first push-ups of the day, Matt Sinister. First push-ups of the day, bro. Appreciate that. 
Thank you for keeping me, holding me accountable. Now I'm going to have some beer. All right, you guys. Here's what's going to happen. Let's jump into some... Uh, let's finish up these Super Chats. Ifer says, am I the only one who thinks it should be Umbridge and not Karen? Listen, here's the thing. Yes or no? I don't know. You can make the Umbridge joke. I'd like to make the Umbridge joke. Let's make the Umbridge joke. Let's bring that... Let's, let's make it a thing. <laughs> let's make it another thing. Tribal Buddha... Oh, for New Wave Dave. Yak bong. <laughs> Yak bong. For anybody that's not hip to that joke, um, I purchased a new glass bong. And it's not something I use a lot. And I needed to name it, right? So I got on my Patreon uh, Instagram stream and we spent like two hours naming my bong. And there were some really good game, really good names in there, and New Wave Dave just just spammed Yak Bong <laughs> over and over again because he was trying to write Yak Bong, but it kept coming out Yak Bong, and I think that's funny. Yak Bong, <laughs> Derek, uh, I dropped my lefos, and when they fell, they spelled Give Nick five. But that is really weird. The weirdest thing about that, Derek, is. Lefos aren't real. So, man, that's weird. Man, that's weird. Eifer, you're going to do 30 right now? You're going to do 30 right now. I believe you. Uh, finally, we've got one from Crimson. New business, mech mod, marital aids. Look, that's a million dollar idea, Crimson. That's a million dollar idea, Crimson. Jump on it. Here's the problem. I'm going to have to break the seal really, really early and go take a bio break. And that bums me out. That bums me out. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to play the news and advocacy bumper. I'm going to go use the bathroom. We'll come back and do some news and advocacy. News and advocacy, yeah. I might actually play the bumper again when we get back just to mark the actual beginning of the news and advocacy. But I'm going to go take a bio break. Uh, it's happening. It's happening. One minute, 30 seconds. I should just wear an astronaut diaper. I should. I'd be sitting here. It'd be, they're so big that I wouldn't be able to sit in my chair. I'd be like all lopsided. You know, I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be able to. <laughs> I'll wear an astronaut diaper just for you, Nephron. Okay, now, and look, we're going to do some real quick news and advocacy. It's not going to be a lot because truly, honestly, I'll wait to go on this rant till after the bumper. News and advocacy, yeah. Yeah. Kind of just depresses me now. Uh, it depresses me now. Spending so long, year, 10 plus years, just hammering home like news and advocacy and just relentless advocacy. Um, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I'm tired. I'm tired of being mad at Bloomberg all the time. I'm tired of being mad at Krishnamurthy all the time. I'm tired of being mad all the time. So publicly and in the vlogily, in the vlogily, just going to dial back the news and advocacy a little bit because honestly, I don't like reporting all bad news. I just don't like it. it it's upsetting and it upsets me. And you know what? It kind of sucks everywhere right now. And we knew this was going to happen. And we've seen this coming for years and years and years and years and years. And I've been warning people it's going to get worse before it gets better. It's going to get worse before it gets better. It's getting worse. It's going to get more worse, 
before it gets anywhere any better. And it's shitty in a lot of places. And it's shitty in the US and it's shitty in Canada and it's shitty in the Netherlands and it's shitty in Germany and it's shitty in Australia and it's shitty in New Zealand and it's shitty in Ireland. And I get it. And it sucks. And uh, it will, it's going to get better. I have no doubt about that. It's literally just going to be a matter of time. And so me kind of stepping away from advocacy a little bit is only for my own self-interest. It's only for my own mental well-being. And it's not because I suddenly don't believe in vaping anymore or I suddenly don't believe that it's going to save, a, you know, a billion lives, uh, you know, in the world. It's not that. It's just I can't take it. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Super exhausted. So... What am I going to put on the screen? Is this too predictable these days, you guys? Hmm? AVA, yeah, that's right. Rights for vapors, tobacco kills, vaping demystified, and CASA. These are like, this is it. This is my favorite stuff. My favorite stuff. If you haven't got a chance to watch, let's see if I can point to it. This, <laughs> vaping demystified, this, is, this, is, this video is better than the vlog. This video right here is better than the video you're watching right now. This is 32 minutes of spectacularness. I would highly you know, suggest watching it. Share it around. If you're in Canada, head over to Rights for Vapors. If you're in America, head over to the AVA and CASA. In fact, speaking of CASA, where did it go? There's a CASA call to action. Yeah. For Mother Trucking Utah. In news that surprised no one, the Utah Department of Health is proposing an amendment to its electronic cigarette substance standards, which would limit the amount of nicotine allowed in certain vapor products. Specifically, the amendment would prohibit the sale of closed systems containing more than 3% nicotine. So 30 milligram is Utah's completely unscientifically based arbitrary nicotine cap seemingly completely arbitrary. Where's the science that shows that a 30 milligram limit's gonna do anything either way? Where's that science? Where's the, where's the data that you did to show that a 30 milligram nicotine cap in Utah is going to help more smokers, hurt more smokers, help more kids, hurt more kids? No idea? You guys don't know either? Arbitrary, completely fucking arbitrary. So. Even if you're not against a nicotine cap, be against a nicotine cap because here's what happens. Politicians go, oh, flavor ban, oh, nicotine cap, oh, usage bans, oh, taxes, blah, blah, blah. They try to roll these out and if they don't get any resistance, then they go, well, look how easy that was. Look how easy that was to pass this legislation. We could do that again. What do you want to do this time? Flavors? Always resist. Always, always, always resist. Even if you don't... Even if you don't care about a nicotine cap, even if you're like me sitting here in California going, I don't care if Utah has a 30 milligram nicotine cap, that doesn't affect me in any way. I'm still gonna be against it. I'm still gonna stand against it. I'm still gonna advocate against it because it's negative vape legislation. There's no, nothing. There's literally nothing. Just imagination that is this 30 milligram nicotine cap. Completely arbitrary. Completely arbitrary. Upsets me to no end. So there's a Utah. Call to freaking action. I'll put that link down in the description. Uh, is Janine here tonight? Janine, I think I saw you here. I'm going to share one of your tweets. Uh, Janine on Twitter said, all Canadians who use flavored vaping products need to write your federal government now. Consumer voices are extremely important. Tell them how important flavors are and the role that they play. Email hc.pregs.sc at canada.ca. Oh. Time, sorry, Janine. Time's ticking. Please and thank you. Look how polite Janine's being. Please and thank you. Nicotine cap happening in the happening in the Canada. Nothing we can do about it. Flavor ban coming to Canada. Is there something we can do about it? Well, Janine gave us an option. Janine gave us an email. I gave you rights for vapors. Between these two organizations you might be able to affect some real change in Canada because as Janine said, your personal stories matter tremendously, dude. Tremendously. Testimonials. 
Anywhere you can do a testimonial, do a testimonial. Share your story. Your story matters more than you even realize. More than you even realize. It's okay, wake up, Kentucky. If you're late, that's fine. I don't even care. But your your punishment for being late is 10 push-ups. <laughs> no, do the advocacy, do the CASA call to action. That's your, do a testimonial. Do a testimonial for CASA. Do a testimonial literally anywhere you can. In fact, man, I am all over the place right now. Michelle reminded us to do some testimonials. You guys know Michelle Mitten. She's been on uh, TBN and a few times in the past. She says, folks, don't forget, this is when you have a chance. It takes a few minutes. Get your friends, parents, etc. All you need to do is give your first name, your age, how long you smoked, how you quit. Easy peasy, flavored squeezy. And you can be part of the Golden Oldies Capital Tour. Send an email over to lindsay at safata.org. That's lindsay at sfata.org. And she'll get you the information you need. And you can be featured. Like you could be a person. You could be a, a real, you know, anecdote. You could hear this. I knew I had one queued up. You could be this. Hello, my name is Jeremy. I'm 45 years old from the great state of Iowa. I was a smoker for 20 years, just over seven years ago. I found vaping and been doing that ever since. My flavor of choice is blue raspberry. I am not a fan of the tobacco flavors. That's why I quit smoking in the first place. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. You could do one and you could be my new favorite one. You could be my new favorite one. So do a video. It, it literally takes no effort. You just get out your phone. You say, hi, my name's Nick Green. I smoked for 13 years. I quit smoking with a root beer flavored e-liquid. And I have been tobacco and combustion free for 12 years now. Never felt better in my life. End. And then you just send that to Lindsay and they do all the edits and they do all the text. And you... You could be in a response to politicians. You could be featured on, you know, these golden oldies of capital vaping tour. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. And I'm going to continue just hammering this home, hammering it home. Do a video, do a video, do a video, do a testimonial, do a video, do a testimonial. That's all I'm going to say. Do a video, do a testimonial. Also, do not forget about smackandnudezack.nl. If you're in the Netherlands, I saw a few Netherland vape fam here tonight. Don't forget about smackandnudezack.nl. I know I'm saying that completely the wrong, worst way possible. It's smackandnudezack.nl. That's to fight, help fight the flavor ban that's coming to the Netherlands. Flavor ban coming to the Netherlands. Um, let's see what else we have here. Oh, yeah, yeah. A few more things I wanted to do here. A few more things. Um, Americans for Tax Reform, uh, ATR leads coalition urging PMTA enforcement extension. So let's talk a little bit about the PMTAs just a little bit. We had a PMTA deadline in May 2020. We had to get all our applications in. And the deadline that the FDA gave themselves was September 9th, 2021. 2021. That, my friends, is coming up very, very soon. And... I don't know if anybody's noticed, but exactly zero PMTAs have been approved yet at all. Well, the problem is after the 9th, after September 9th, you're not, even if you have a PMTA application in, you're not allowed to sell your products anymore in the United States. After September 9th this year, an FDA hasn't approved any PMTAs. Oh, man, you thought it was a black market right now? It's about to go full dark underground, underground, like face jail time type of black market if some PMTAs don't start getting approved. Americans for Tax Reform today led a coalition of 32 organizations urging the Food and Drug Administration to follow the common sense recommendations from the Small Business Administration and seek a court order to allow vaping manufacturers to keep products on the market while their pre-market tobacco application reviews are in process. The FDA has acknowledged that it is unlikely it will complete all authorizations by September 9th. Try unlikely to complete literally any authorizations by September 9th deadline. 
I'm not holding out much hope. I know it's only the beginning of July, but September 9th is creeping up fast and I would be shocked, shocked. I would eat a shoe if there are approved PMTAs out before September 9th. I would be, I would be shocked into the ground, <laughs> into the ground. They know that they're not gonna meet this deadline, meaning thousands of businesses who did the right thing and completed all the legal requirements they will be prohibited from selling their life-saving products merely due to FDA's delays in processing applications. That's unbelievable to me. So the, the Small Business Administration is actually like a branch of the federal government. The problem is, I, don't, I hate to be so pessimistic, but years of vape advocacy, I'm just trained to be pessimistic. This is... Uh, a long shot. This is a long, long shot. The Small Business Administration, like I said, is an arm. It is a branch of the federal government, and they're here to basically protect small businesses. They're here to protect small businesses and prevent, you know, monopolies and like uh, giant corporations from taking over the country. And uh, I feel like the Small Business Administration has not been doing its job very well recently. So they're going to bat for FDA. So the idea is if you played by the rules and you did all your PMTA applications and you forked over the money and you submitted this to FDA and you went, Whew, all right, we got it in, you guys. We got the PMTA in. We're playing by the rules. We're playing by their regulatory rules. Here we go. You are now getting shafted up the, up the uncomfortable spot shafted by the FDA because you played by the rules and now you don't get to sell your products anymore. On the other side of that coin, if you didn't play by the rules, if you didn't do any PMTAs, if you didn't even try to comply regulatorily, well now, now the market's yours because you're off FDA's radar and they're not concerned. It's like, it's like, you, you know, rules where it's like, Oh, well, you can't wear a Mason ring unless you're a Mason. There's a, there's a Freemason rule that you can't wear the ring unless you're a Mason. But I'm not a Mason, so the rules don't apply to me, so I can wear the ring. And it's that kind of thing. It's like, oh, those rules don't apply to me because I didn't play by the rules in the first place. So if you didn't play by the rules, well, then congratulations. Now you get to keep selling in the black market while everybody that played by the rules is going to get effed up the A. The vaping industry, the letter notes, unlike many others, was created by small businesses. And these same small businesses continue to drive innovation in the market. Without these entrepreneurs, the vaping industry would be consolidated into a few large corporations, causing prices to rise and consumer choice to decrease. It kind of sounds, doesn't that kind of sound exactly like what's happening right now? Like, oh, let's just, the whole, the whole vape industry, here you go, PMI. Here you go, Altria, you guys can have it all. Have your monopoly now, like you did with cigarettes, now you can have it with all vapor products. Just fuck small businesses in America. <laughs> fuck you guys. You tried to play by the rules, not against the FDA, mother trucker. We'll tear your industry down in the name of public health. Uh, it's mind boggling. So I'll put a link down in the description to where you can uh, read this. You can read the whole letter if you want to. The problem is this letter is written to, 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 to acting FDA commissioner, Janet Woodcock, who I don't think, again, I'm not trying to be so pessimistic, but this is another one of those things where it's like, does this have any real traction? Is this letter going to motivate FDA to not only speed up their review process, but to do extra work and apply and get a court order from a judge so that these businesses that they don't even really want on the market to begin with, so that these businesses can continue operating the way that they have been and, and you know, in spite of FDA dragging their bureaucratic feet. Man, that seems far-fetched to me. Man, that seems far-fetched to me. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to support it. It doesn't mean I'm not going to, you know, uh, promote it and pimp it out as much as I possibly can all over the place. I'll put a link down in the description to where you can check that out. If you are so interested, um, 
Well, we at 5.30? All right, let me do a couple more things here in the news and advocacy. Does any Is anybody familiar with this complete and total piece of human garbage? Are you guys? Do you guys, you guys hip to Raja? Raja Krishnamurthy, human piece of shit walking around in a three-piece suit, complete and total piece of human garbage. I've never seen anybody rally against harm reduction tools like I've seen Raja Krishnamurthy rally against harm reduction tools. Let's flash back to about a year ago. A year ago, Stanford University did an anonymous online poll of 4,000 youths, and that online poll got turned into a study where they came to the conclusion that vaping definitely, definitely increases your risk of COVID-19. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, Stanford University caused Raja Krishnam Krishnamurthy, Illinois congressman, calls for a federal ban on electronic cigarettes, citing a study that shows a link to COVID-19. Stanford did an anonymous online survey of 18 to 24 year old youths, 3,000 kids, and came to the conclusion empirically, yes, that vaping is definitely going to lead you to COVID-19. And this was enough for Raja Krishnamurthy, don't forget, just to complete and total piece of shit, C complete and total piece of shit. This caused this complete and total piece of shit to want to ban electronic cigarettes because 3,000 kids aged 18 to 24 responded to an anonymous online survey. That was enough to kickstart Raja Krishnamurthy into legislative action. Well, what's Raja Krishnamurthy going to do now that the Mayo Clinic did a study of 69,000 patients and found... Oh, holy shit. Vapors and smokers are not more likely to be infected with COVID-19. Raja Krishnamurthy. Despite concerns earlier in the coronavirus pandemic that vaping and smoking could lead to an increased risk of becoming infected with the virus, a new study found that tobacco and electronic cigarette users were not more susceptible to infection. The study conducted by Mayo Clinic researchers and published in the Journal of Primary Care and Community Health, found a lack of a connection between vaping and coming down with COVID-19. In fact, they discovered that smokers were 57% less likely to contract the virus. The results of this study from the Mayo Clinic, the Mayo Clinic, the results of this study contradict previous claims that e-cigarettes and vape users were more likely to become infected with coronavirus. Hmm. Hmm. That's incredible. Directly contradicts a random internet anonymous 3000 kid survey. You mean to tell me that the Mayo Clinic did a study on 70,000 patients and came to a different conclusion than an anonymous online youth-oriented survey of 3,000 kids, 4,000 kids? Unbelievable. It's like when you do the homework and you actually do the study, you get the actual results and come to the actual conclusions. The conclusion that the Mayo Clinic researchers came to in determining that smokers are less likely to be infected with the coronavirus is not a new discovery. Many studies have already come up with very, very, very similar findings. So that just begs the question, well, what's up with Raja Krishnamurthy? Is he going to backpedal at all? Is he going to get up there and say, hey, you know, all of those times that I demanded that FDA clear the market of all electronic cigarettes because I believed that they led to users to be more infected with the coronavirus, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. I would pay 
$10,000 to see Raja Krishnamurthy just admit that he was wrong. Just admit that you were wrong. Admit that you base that on no science and admit now that there's actual science from the mother trucking Mayo Clinic, 70,000 patients participated in this study. Now that there's actual science, you're going to change your mind, uh, correct your mistakes, Raja Krishnamurthy? Are you maybe going to cancel this uh, legislation, this, this constant tirade you're on where you want to circumvent regulatory procedures just on your own whims because you think that kids are vaping more than they really are? You want to circumvent all of the FDA's regulatory process based on... Oh, nothing. Based on that bowl of shit you're eating, Raja. No wonder you're a complete and total human walking piece of shit. All you do is eat shit for breakfast. Eat poop. I can't stand this man. Cannot stand this man. He he, he grandstands and he gets up there and he, you know, he's running on re-election on this whole platform of anti-vaping. Anti-vaping? Okay. Interchange vaping with literally anything. Anti-harm reduction? Raja Krishnamurthy, I hope he wins, running on that platform of anti-harm reduction. Unbelievable. So, welcome to America, where science doesn't mean anything and politicians are fucking idiots. Sorry, I'm just getting all worked up and I apologize. But uh, Raja Krishnamurthy, you win my new, my, my new award for just the worst person in the world. Right after Mike Bloomberg. It's like Mike Bloomberg, Raja Krishnamurthy, just the two worst people in the world. I've never seen two people be so obsessed with keeping smokers smoking. I've never seen an effort like this to dissuade people from quitting smoking with the best, healthiest, most effective product literally in the existence of time. Never seen, it's, it boggles the mind. Boggles the mind, as uh, certain people would say. I'm befuddled. I just am so bef <laughs> so fucking befuddled at Raja Krishnamurthy. Unbelievable. Just a what a piece of shit. Just completely and totally. Like when I call him a piece of shit, it's not just that I think he's a piece of shit. I think it's like that he's made of shit. Like totally. His bone marrow, his bones, his muscles, shit. His hair, shit. His face. Poop, poop, poop face. <laughs> Sorry, should I not? Let's hydrate. You're right, Angela. Let's hydrate. Oh, I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Hydro homies. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you guys, okay. That's it. We're done with news advocacy. Let me mention one more thing. Um, this is the future that I think we can all really get behind. We can really all look forward to. I have to thank Mike Bloomberg. I have to thank the World Health Organization because without their framework on tobacco control being implemented in uh, poor and developing countries, we wouldn't have this tremendous headline from Singapore. 14 jailed for smuggling record $700,000 worth of e <laughs> e vaporizer components e vaporizer components so in singapore which by the way singapore definitely definitely is part of the world health organization's fctc that's their framework of tobacco control this is the bloomberg who prohibition zero tolerance stance. This is the inevitable conclusion of the World Health Organization and Mike Bloomberg's prohibitionist stance on tobacco and vaping and less harmful vapor products. Singapore, 14 men between 22 and 54 years old have been jailed for smuggling $700,000, which 700,000 Singapore dollars is about half a million dollars. So it's Half a million dollars worth of electronic vaporizers and related components. This is the largest seizure to date. Look at this. It's like, tell me that this isn't war on drugs 2.0. Look at this picture and tell me it doesn't feel, all that we're missing is like the police officers posing with shotguns in front of their big drug bust. 
It's just a bunch of pods. It's just a bunch of pods. And the really the part that bums me out this the, about this the most is I imagine that there's smokers in Singapore who are just waiting to get like their three boxes of pods so that they don't have to go buy a pack of cigarettes. And now in the name of public health, FCTC World Health Organization Mike Bloomberg, these are now not, not going to hurt anybody anymore. These damn nicotine pods, not going to help any smokers anymore. You want your nicotine? You smoke for it. Like a, like a regular, like a real man. Smoke for your nicotine. Smoke for it. So they have a uh, group there in Singapore called the HSA, which stands for Health and Science Authority. So with a name like that, the Health and Sa Science Authority, <laughs> they're the ones uh, kind of leading these busts. It says those, it says, uh, hang on, it says, um, nope, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm way wrong. Oh yeah, those who are convicted, um, importing or distribution of vaporizers or related components, you get fined $10,000 and jailed up to six months for your first offense. First offense. 10 grand, six months in prison. Reoffending, don't even, you get a year in prison. You get $20,000. Re reoffenders, it's like $100,000, five years in prison. Look at this second one. This one will even make you laugh even more. Yep, they just displayed them all out there like it's a big drug bust. But I want you to pay attention to what's here on the left. Those are literally just USB C charging cables just USB-C charging cables. These guys are going to jail for illegally distributing USB-C cables because they're tobacco products. So, you know, you can call, call anything a tobacco product. Health and Science Administration said it will take strong enforcement actions against those who import prohibited tobacco products such as e-vaporizers and components. All prohibited tobacco products will be seized and confiscated. That's according to the Singapore Department of Health and Sciences Authority. The Department of Health and Science has a no tolerance policy on harm reduction products. In Singapore, if you want your nicotine, you combust it. You smoke it. You smoke it. Fuck that place. Fuck Mike Bloomberg. Okay, I'm so mad. This is why I need to stop, stop doing news and advocacy. I'll put links down in the description to literally everything I talked about. Literally everything I talked about, including, that's right, smokers and vapors are not more likely to be infected with COVID-19. In fact, smokers have a 54% chance of not, 54% less of a chance of contracting COVID-19. You, you... Fuck. <laughs> Fuck stick. I don't even know. I need to stop swearing. All right. Um, that's going to wrap it up, you guys, for news and advocacy. I'll throw a whole bunch of links down in the description. Let's see what Super Chats came in. Yeah. All that drug paraphernalia. Got that big bust, you know? <laughs> big bust. All those USB-C cables. All those USB-C cables because those are tobacco products, you know, in Singapore uh, because of Mike Bloomberg, you know? And this is what he wants. This is this is his inevitable, like logical conclusion. What do you expect if you're only a prohibitionist stance? What do you expect to happen? People go to jail. You go, yes, that was what I wanted. I am a prohibitionist. And if you're caught with this stuff, you go to jail. I don't care if you're trying to help people quit smoking. You still go to jail. New Wave Dave says, uh, oh, yak bong. <laughs> Yak bong, the struggle was real. We ended up naming the bong Jolene. Just in case anybody's wondering, she's named Jolene. Uh, Vape and Clash uh, bought my first mech mod, Brizzo by Broadside. Have any coil build suggestions? 22 4 millimeter Archon V2 RDA. Thanks, man. You're awesome. Bro, build low. Get, make sure you have a good battery. Is that a 21700? 
Is that a 21700? If it's a 21700, you're probably good at like a 0 0.11, 0 0.12. It's usually how I build for max. Be kick ass. Enjoy it, Vape and Clash. Enjoy the crap out of that. Eifer says, uh, now I'm picturing a 21700 powered marital aid. Look, they exist. I'm not saying we haven't even just saying they exist. Uh, 304, ju always Juglist, Junglist. Gene Simmons called. Gene Simmons called you? Gene Simmons called and said he was kicking me out of the Kiss Army if I didn't send Grim Green five bucks. <laughs> it's a good thing you sent that because he is the real leader of the Grim Army. He is. It's Gene. Uh, seems everyone wants your money. Hit the lights. Kennedy. I knew you were a Metallica fan. Uh, Mike, how you doing, bro? Yo, yo, and Nick. We'll keep up the good fight while you step away. We vape, we vote, you know? And it's not like, I don't know. I'm not stepping away, away. I'm just, I'm trying to dial it back, you know? I get so, you know, rage-filled, just instant, like zero to church burning in just a second. And you just, I see one tweet from Raja Krishnamurthy and I want to reach through Twitter and strangle his stupid face and just be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So keep it going. I appreciate that. Keep fighting the good fight. I'm never going to stop fighting the good fight. I just have to regulate it a little bit in my life. I for the iJoy buzzer. Is that really, is that what you'd call it? The buzzer, not the iJoy moist vibe. That's what I would call it. Tribal Buddha says dot mod G spot pod. Okay. That will... That could be a thing. They might call it the the G, the dot the G dot something like that, right? The G dot. That's what they'd call it for sure. The G dot. <laughs> Part time, Nick. I I would make a fake article saying PMT approval to watch you eat a shoe. I'll eat it. I will eat a shoe if anything gets approved PMTA before September 9th, I will take off my Vans and I will literally eat it eat the shoe at least the shoe laces maybe the whole shoe the wee baby Seamus uh yo yo and you deserve a break we will miss you all but we will hold down the fight uh I quit with a smoke baby beast and a tea pre and local DIY liquid hell yeah baby Seamus in fact you're the perfect candidate bro get on video tell your story be part of the golden oldies capital vaping tour be part of it I believe in you Seamus I believe in you. Uh, Eifer says, by the way, sorry if my Patreon DM is hard to understand. That's fine. I'll, I'll get through it, Eifer. Don't even trip, dog. Don't even trip. Tim J says, we live in strange times. I had open heart surgery at Mayo Clinic. They did an awesome job. They use research. So suck it, Raja Krishnamurthy. Yes. Yes. Oh, facts. Facts. Science evidence. These are all important things, <laughs> especially when you're talking about regulating public health. You generally tend to rely on things like, you know, evidence, <laughs> science, data. Well, Tim J, I'm glad your hope and heart surgery went well. I don't know how long it was ago, but I'm, I'm glad you're still here with us right now. Uh, ampersand, that's very gracious of you. Hi, Nick. I've been listening to Sleep, and I really dig their stuff. Psych Stoner Rock is right up my alley. First foray into modern Stoner Rock was Dead Meadow. Keep being a rock star. Fuck yeah, Replay Crew. Fuck yeah, Ampersand. Thank you. I'm so pumped that you're getting into like psychedelic stoner rock stuff. There's a playlist on Spotify called post stoner metal or something about the edge of stoner rock or the post stoner. It's awesome. There's some really good like post stoner bands on there. I don't know. Ampersand. Check it out. Good stuff. Kennedy. Is this world going to hell in a handbasket? Technically, yes, <laughs> but so what? It's going to be one hell of a ride. Going to be one hell of a ride. Fishy, good call. Uh, it is time to hydrate. Let's hydrate with Liam this time. Hydration challenge. Fishy, you joining in? I hope so. Liam, 
Good call, Fishy. Good call right there. You know, we have more liquid tastings to do. Holy crap. MMC. Raja Krishnamurthy li leaves Stanton Glance up late at night, befuddled and fully <laughs> engorged. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, my God. Comment of the year right there, MMC. Krishnamurthy leaves Stanton Glance up late at night, befuddled and fully engorged. I don't want to think about Stanton Glance fully engorged. Mallory Gates, how are you doing? Congressman Raja said, give me five bucks for my campaign. <laughs> I said, no, it'll be better served here. Love all, love you all here. Don't stop the good work. Uh, look, I love you all here too. I appreciate that very much, Mallory Gates. Much better served here than Raja. I would be stoked if Raja did not get reelected. I want him to be just flash in the pan congressman. Level 5 Loki says, the website I linked in my Patreon message about the tiki glasses was wrong. I'll get you the right site on Patreon messages. Yo, yo, and be excellent. Oh, was it? Okay. I appreciate that, Level 5. Appreciate that very much, bro. Boosh. Have a fist bump. Have a freaking fist bump. Who uh. wants to do another... <gasps> Strawberry, <laughs> the <laughs> okay. So we're va we're voting Plume Room, Cookie Custard from from Mike or Addy Toonies Strawberry Chocolate Malt Shake. Please vote. Please vote now. Please vote now. Let's have some voting music. Should we have some voting uh, music? All right. Who's voting on what? I know, that was a pretty big dangle clack. Dangle clacks all day long. Cookie custard. I'm really interested in this. I don't know, I'm really interested in all of these. I want to try this Addy Tooney strawberry chocolate malt shake. Leave this up for another 30 seconds or go, so the, so 30 seconds or so, so we can uh, catch up together. It's tough. It's tough, you know? It's tough. Well, the Addy Juice does sound pretty bomb.com. All right. Well, it looks like we are going to end this poll. Yeah. Addy Tooney for the win. Strawberry chocolate malt shake is about to get tested. Better luck next time, Candied Cavendish. In fact, we're going to take Candied Cavendish off the table. We'll leave Cookie Custard still on the table. This is an Addy Tooney original DIY e-liquid. It is a strawberry chocolate malt shake in one and a half milligram, dude. How do I not want to vape this? How do I not want to vape this? It won landslide. 52% of the votes went straight to Addy Tooney's e-liquid. Plume Room and Cookie Custard kind of sitting down there, not doing too much down there. Strawberry chocolate malt shake, bro. How do you even, uh, 
We're gonna put this on a TM24 Pro Series. It's just a pair of aliens in here. I freshly re-wicked this. Uh. You falling asleep, Rhett's beard? Am I that boring, bro? I can't even keep you awake? Oh, this is a vaping trucker recipe. Oh. Vaping trucker recipe, okay. I mean, I was stoked when it was an Addy Tooney recipe, but if this is a vape and trucker recipe, I'm so glad it won. Yeah, I get strawberry, I get maltiness, not oh, chocolate. All right, cool. I'm going to put this on my TM24 Pro Series. These aren't the, uh, you know, the God coils or anything like that. I didn't want to have such an unfair advantage in my, in my RDA for the liquid tasting. If I tasted this on the God coils, then it just would have been like, you know, oh, the most amazing juice literally of all time. Got a little bit of a crackle. Yeah, not really. Not really some crackle, just some fizz, just some white noise happening here. All right. I'm going to pre-turn down my airflow to the how I like it on the TM24 Pro. Turn it down just a little bit. Boosh like that. Boosh like that. All right. Well, thank you, Addy Tooney, for mixing up some of the Vape and Truckers strawberry chocolate, I mean, malt shake. Strawberry chocolate malt shake. Cheers. Let's give it a toot. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna sit with this for just one second. Um, I'll leave you with some lo-fi beats this time and uh, I'm gonna vape it. We'll come back and, and, and really judge this. Really judge this one. Calm yourself down there, chill beats. In fact, shut up completely, chill beats. All right, strawberry chocolate malt shake. So here's what I'm getting from this. To me, I get a really like multi, multi milkshake. I'm familiar with the malty flavor because I worked at Starbucks for so long. We had malt powder that we would put into certain frappuccinos, and I like that malty multi chocolate milkshake kind of flavor to it. I wish it had more strawberry. Man, I wish it had more strawberry. It's a good cohesive flavor, but man, I wish it had just a little bit more strawberry. I can just feel the strawberry just peeking out just a little bit, just a little bit. Kind of wish it had a little bit more strawberry, but otherwise, dude, this is pretty banging. Chocolate malt milkshake, that milkshakey, it gets a little bit eggy. I don't want to say eggy. I don't want to say eggy, cheesy, a little bit on that side, but not tremendously, not tremendously. Not tremendously. Real good. It's real good, but damn it, I wish it had even just a little bit more chocolate. I get like 
strawberry chocolate malt milkshake. It's like a big creamy malt milkshake. Just a little bit of strawberry chocolate. All right. Well, look, thank you, Addy Tooney, for the liquid. Thank you, Vape and Trucker. Rest in peace, brother, for this recipe. It's out there. It's in the chat. I'll put it down in the description as well. I'll put it down in the description. So if you want to make up some strawberry or, you know, make some up, change the recipe a little bit, maybe throw a little bit more strawberry in there. I feel like we'd be cool with that. See, I love strawberry. Love strawberry, Joe. It's like my jam. I love strawberry. It's one of my my favorite, favorite, favorite flavors. I like it for the flavor of it. I like it for the sensation of it. I find that strawberries get a little bit more throaty, and I like a throaty strawberry. Dude, that's good. It's good stuff, Ape and Trucker. All right. Well, you know, it's not perfect. I have a few criticisms of it. If this was a commercial liquid, I would I would be a lot harder on it than I am now because now it's like it's a living thing. It's like, yeah, there's a recipe, but you could add a percent or more of something else, change it a little bit. Thank you, Vaping Trucker. Rest in peace, buddy, for this recipe. And thank you, Addy Tooney, one more time for mixing it up. It's pretty delicious. That malt is so strong. I don't, it's such a unique flavor. I haven't had a lot of malty liquids, but man, this one's malty in spades. Just malty like crazy. God, that's good. A little bit more strawberry vaping trucker. That would be my only uh, critique. Otherwise. Okay, well, we're going to need a second beer for sure. And. We need to get to some mail. Oh my God, we're running long. Who who saw that coming? Trucker's Soul Shine recipe is really good. Gone through about 800 mil. Yeah, here, I'll throw that up there. Toasty Cheesy, appreciate you being here tonight, A. And B, yes, Soul Shine is really good. Soul Shine is a rocking, rocking recipe. That's a good liquid. I still have my bottle over. I'm keeping a bottle of it. Oh shit, where'd it go? Yeah, Soul Shine. I'm just slowly vaping it. That's it. I'm slowly vaping it. And it's not because I'm worried about running out because I, I know it is a DIY and I could probably mix up more. The problem is I'm just a sentimental bastard and I, I'm already sentimentally attached to that bottle because it came from Addy Tooney and I'm already sentimentally attached to it because it's the recipe from Vape and Trucker. Like both of those things, I probably, I may never vape that bottle completely down ever just because I'm so freaking sentimentally attached to it. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to go grab another beer um, and we have to get to this mail. We just have to. So here, have some, uh, here's the thing. I'm going to go do a bio break as well. I'm going to do a bio break. I'm going to grab a beer. We'll get into some of this mail. Good times, you guys. Good times. Hang out. How's it going? How you guys doing? Good? Let me turn this music off. Uh, I'm not going to run the beer bumper, but we're going to open another beer. Shout out to uh, Matt Sinister for the Kiss Army bottle opener. Smells like Gene. Smells like Gene Simmons. I can smell it. Uh, we have 
right now, this is a uh, Belching Beaver. This is a uh, San Diego, California brewer, Belching Beaver. This is the peanut butter milk stout. This is just one of the most overly flavored beers that I've ever had ever in my life. It's clearly a very, very artificial peanut butter. It's a very, very, very artificial chocolate flavor in here. But on top of all of those flavors, you do have a real nice, nice, thick uh. beer. Be like Scottish Vapes. Hit that like button, everybody. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, artificial peanut butter flavoring, artificial chocolate flavoring, and then a really heavy bottom ended, like really robust syrupy stout on top of it. Um, it's delicious. If you're a peanut butter person, which <coughs> belching beaver, I am a peanut butter person, thankfully. <sighs> peanut butter milk stout, freaking delicious. Why not? Why not have a second beer? Let's keep this party going. All right, mail. Mail. I forgot a garbage. Oh no, I have a garbage bag. Okay. All right, you guys, what are we doing? Six o'clock and we're just getting into mail? That's fine. Coils. This could be coils. This could be coils. I don't know where this came from. I don't know where this came from, but it's probably coils. Why would it be coils in a DHL box? I'm so confused. Oh! Ah! <gasps> oh! Shit! Oh, shit! Whoa, shit! Uh, this, my friends, that's from At Mizzou. Damn it. Oh, baby. I'm so happy. Holy crap, I'm happy. This is going in Golden Boy. How's this not going to go in Golden Boy? Yeah, that's a gold vape snail right there, baby. That's a gold vape snail right there, baby. In fact, yeah, this is the vape snail SS, SSG. The vape snail SSG. And it came with... Oh, no way. Holy shit. Uh, Atmazoo made a bunch of different colored vape snail tanks, bro. That's a blue, like, vape snail boro for the vape snail. Let's see. That one's blue. What do you look like? Oh, you're just tinted smoky black. Okay. Tinted smoky black. Okay. Pink. What? Pink. Pink is punk. And then Ultem. Holy shit. Okay, so you could put a gold vape snail in an Ultem tank, and I could put it inside Golden Boy. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at that. That is sick as tits. Sorry, Rip. That's cool as hell. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so blue, fuchsia, which is the pink, ultem, and black. Those are the four, those are the four color tanks that I got. Whew. Fuck yeah, at Mizzou. Oh. That's awesome. I didn't this is a complete surprise. I at Mizzou hit me up on Instagram like a month ago. And they're like, all right, it's in the mail. It may take, take, take some time to get there. So I was like, oh, okay. That's fine. And then like completely forgot about it and then it just shows up vape snail taste yeah. scott stabilized piss mail <laughs> yep stabilized piss uh don't know who this is from either could be china vape snail 
Oh! How, who saw this coming? Who saw this coming? This is the Drag X Plus Pro. Drag X Plus Professional Edition. The Pro. So next, we're going to get the Drag X Plus Pro S. <laughs> XL. LE. Five. Silver and brown, silver and gray. All right, silver and brown. What is the difference? That's the Drag X Plus Pro. Looks looks a lot like the Drag X to me. The Drag X Plus just. All right, cool. Look, I give everything a fair shot. I give everything a fair shot. If it comes across my desk, I give it a fair shot, even if it's a the same thing that was just literally just released. Still give it a fair shot. Because at the end of the day, if it vapes, vapes. Yeah, Mowgli, yeah, you, they, they make you do like a test. So yeah, they do. <laughs> If you're only a professional vapor, only professional vapors can vape the Drag X Plus Professional Edition. That's why they sent it to me, you see, because I'm professional. <laughs> professional. Yep. The, the Yeah, it's the Drag X Plus Pro LE Special Edition Supreme Premium Ultramax. You got, you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. Is this a thing I'm not supposed to show? Damn it. I like China has so many things where they're like, don't show this on video. Don't show this. Okay, let's see. Nope. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. All right, you well. Well, you know, I was a huge fan of the U Well Whirl S, and this is the Whirl T1. Whirl. T1, assuming it's a pod, probably kind of looks kind of cool. I like the original Whirl a lot. I still have it going right now. It needs a new coil head, but I like the Whirl, the Whirless. So I want to see what this looks like real quick. It's not like we're short on time and have a thousand packages to get to. Oh, if this is an auto switch, I'm going to be so happy. Please be an auto switch. There's no buttons. There's no buttons. There's no buttons. So I'm assuming it's a nice auto switch. Mouth to lung auto switch. Give it to me. Okay. All right. You well whirl. Whirl T1. Whirl. Oh, and there's literature. Triangular Bobby. What? I'm not joking. Does that not say triangular Bobby? Frames. Read that. What does that say? Triangular Bobby? <laughs> yeah, it's the Whirl X Plus Max L E S Special Edition. You didn't know? <laughs> What do you mean you didn't know? Okay, we do have some packages to get through. I didn't I underestimated my mail. Oh! Oh my bearded viking order came in. Uh, I made an order from Bearded Viking Customs. Yes. Everyone, please go check out Bearded Viking Customs. I got uh Two bearded Viking. Uh, okay. Might not have a spot there. I bought some bearded Viking custom kits for the abyss. So that's the teal. That's the teal kit. You can't quite see it. I got the neon orange kit because I thought, where's my abyss? Because I thought that with the gray 
Like that neon orange and gray would go really well together. And I got the, yeah, I got the neon orange and the teal abyss kits that I'm really excited about. What the fuck? He tossed in some shit. Tossed in a banging skull uh, Addy stand. Mm. Mm. And, but wait, there's more. Wait, what are these? What are you doing? Oh, these are coils. Oh, holy shit. Bearded Viking sent coils along. Two and a half millimeter. Are these like custom acrylic coil? Dude, okay, first of all, A, these are awesome little coil containers. Coil in a baggie. Bearded Viking Customs. Dude, that's smart. And these are like reusably cool. Like this, it just contains coils, but it's like cool and resin and swirly. Thank you, Bearded Viking, for the extra coils that I did not pay for. <laughs> I did not pay for these coils, but I did pay for these Abyss kits that I am overjoyed. Oh, that's fucking cool, bro. Here, let's see what I can put on here right now while I have the kit. Here, let's put the clip on the back. Yes. Uh, I can't wait. I'm going to deck this all out in fucking bright neon orange and black and gray. That is going to be so rad. So rad. <laughs> So rad. And it literally comes with everything. You just have to learn how to disassemble your abyss and put it back together again, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. Matchy drip tip, matchy screen, matchy tube, matchy button, matchy tank, matchy back piece. Okay. I'm excited. Bearded Viking Customs, I am fully engorged now because of you. Fully and completely, utterly engorged. I can... Bearded Viking... I can only get so engorged. <laughs> All right, let's keep this party going. There's only uh, like six or seven more packages. We're only going to be running about a half hour long tonight. Should be no, no big deal. They double as Addy stands. Oh, holy shit, they do. Uh, uh. Coils. Coils, coils. Oh, oh, it's like actually threaded. Look at that. And it becomes an Addy stand. Coils on one side, Addy stand on the other. What up, bearded Viking? That's cool. That's cool. That's just cool. Bearded Viking, you're fucking cool. I will never be as cool as you. I just can't. I'm not even going to try. It's kind of useless, honestly. It's kind of useless to try to be as cool as Bearded Viking. It's just not going to happen. See, now I have that Chill Beats melody stuck in my head. And you are from... Oh, right on! Oh, right on! Sick as tits. I'm stealing that from Rip Trippers. Don't even care. Stealing it. Uh, this, this was actually a request. I hit up Geek Vape and I said, hey, Geek Vape, I really liked your Aegis Nano. Both of my coil heads died too quickly and I want to, I want more coil heads. And so they said, okay. And then they just ended up sending two new Aegis Nano kits. And that's fine because of this one is sick come on that is sick that's like straight up yellow racing stripes like hot kill bill style action aegis nano that is a cool looking pod that is a oh! cool looking pod really fucking cool looking pod so i'm excited to get the aegis nano back you know i'm constantly trying pods and i'm thinking about like you know my July pods ranked video because I'm going to do another pods ranked video. Nano, I want to be included. It left the last time. The last. Dan. Oh, Dan. I know what's in here. 
I know what's in here. Dan. Dan Baker. JMW Premium. You don't think I know what's in here? Apparently I don't. Ah! Oh, I slashed through your note. I'm sorry, bro. Grim Nick, my bad, my bad dude, forget to send these in your apple custard package. Unbelievable, you know? It's like people promise you free things and then they don't even send them. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's messed up. What, 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 what do I got going on here? Ah. Oh, all right. Thank you. Empty bottles. Got some empty bottles from JMW Premium Custard. And, uh, oh, magnets. There you go. Oh, that's a cool keychain. Can you see that? That's a pretty cool keychain. That's a pretty cool keychain, JMW Premium. JMW Premium. Thanks, bro. Thanks, boss. Thanks, Brohemian Rhapsody. Is this so I can transfer? Maybe I'm just a little bit confused. JMW Premium Apple Custard. Is this for uh, distributing into smaller, into bigger bottles? Premium apple custard, apple custard. Uh, smells so good you can taste it. I love that. All right, no, thanks, man. Appreciate it. As always, appreciate it, Dan. I like this keychain. I'm going to start using it. I like that a lot. Fuck the FDA. Yeah, fuck the FDA. Until they start approving stuff, then you can unfuck them. Something from Amazon? Oh, was oh, wait, hang on. Ha! Ah, Anthony Ramella, Anthony Ramella, he's a hell of a fella. Anthony Ramella, you son of a bitch. He bought me a gift. He bought me a gift, and there's nothing I can do about it. But these are. Uh, magnifying head head you know headgear magnifying with leds for my uh coil building <laughs> for my coil building adventures this is actually really intensely helpful bro really helpful oh oh and they have different oh holy shit this is a little bit more fancy than i thought it was going to be Oh, and you have different mag magnifications. Magnification. Oh, I'll take the thickest ones. What do you just slide it in here? Okay, I don't want to mess this up. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they just pop in. Oh, okay. So, like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are going to be great for coil building. The only downside to these that I can see is that I'm going to have to wear them on video during a coil building video. I can't even see where the camera is. Is that... Is that the camera? These are great, Anthony Ramella. Thank you. I'm using these on Monday. We're having Kent back on. I'm trying to get Nick Devine on. And now I can see my aliens when they're happening. I can actually see my aliens. Thank you. See you, Anthony Ramella. You are one hell of a fella. You just are. There's no way around it. Anthony Ramella. But wait! Oh, okay. The, the empty bottles make a lot more sense right now. The empty bottles make a lot more sense right now. Nicholas, I need to hear your crackle. Send me a video of your crackle. 
I, I need to experience it. So this is a large bottle. Ah, fuck the bands. Uh, I let. Oh, okay. <laughs> GMW Premium. Uh, cust oh yeah, custard customized Grim Label along with the entire G JMW Premium Facebook group. Really enjoy watching the vlogs and seeing what sorts of informational knowledge you drop next. Now you have a big ass bottle of brain food while you zip around the internet collecting data. Stay safe, stay cool, keep doing what you're doing, man. It's appreciated by. Oh, thank you very much, Dan. You, thank you, Dan. That's very gracious of you. This is a huge ass bottle of, uh, this is a huge ass bottle of that apple custard. Oh my God. Huge ass bottle of, uh, Grimm's. Oh, he, he, it's custom Grimm's apple custard. That is a healthy dose, healthy portion of apple custard. I want to smell it. Why can't I smell it? Oh, it's tasty. Yeah, it's a tasty juice, Dan. It's tasty, bro. Thank you. Dude, that is so, that is a goofy amount of liquid, bro. Fuck yeah, JMW Premium. Dude, this has been a good vape mail. This is... Oh, Barbara, should I put on the, the the glasses and hat fan? That's too much cool for one for one stream though. <laughs> too much cool for one stream. It's like, you know, save some ladies for the rest of us, Grim Green. I won't save any beer for you. All right, I know for sure. Sifu. 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 I haven't had any good crackle in a while, and it's bumming me out. Seafood. Seafood. All right, what did I get from seafood here? Wait, was this a, a parchment from, like, ancient Rome? It's like It feels like cloth. Uh, some summer love. Uh, it's so fluffy. Strawberry baked Alaska, strawberry ice cream, and graham cracker crust topped with meringue. Okay, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing, Sifu. Okay, so some of these are going to go up tonight. Roots, banana roots. Roots! Body roots! Because uh, banana root beer is kind of metal. I, banana root beer is a liquid that I have been begging for for years. I mean, when we first started Namber Juice, that's how going back how far this is. When we first started Namber Juice, and we did our first tour of, like, the facility. They had a, uh, a board up there that was, like, whatever, you know, team goals and stuff like this. And so I, uh, I graffitied it, and I, and I defaced it with root beer banana. I just wrote root beer banana everywhere. I wanted a root beer banana e-liquid. <gasps> roots. Banana roots. From Sifu's Stash. It's so fluffy. God, that sounds good. And oh, what's the last one here? Seafood stash. Figure it out. Figure it out. Just figure it out. Profiles in custard. I like how stately, stately this is, Sifu. Just dabbling with profiles of custard. All right, Sifu. Well, let's put. All right. Maybe we can get to one of these tonight. That would be sick. That would be truly sick. Truly sick. This is the last package from. <gasps> I know what this is. 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 Holy shit. I know what this is. Came from Canada. It came from Canada. I know what this is because it came from Canada. Holy shit, we have to sing happy birthday. All right, after, right after this mail, we're singing happy birthday.
Uh, it says, uh, sending this along just because, gifting you the RTA because I know you like to try new and strange things. The RTA is currently the least impressive I've tried to date. Stands to reason that you might love it. Pam. Pam. Thank you, Pam. I even got your signature with a smiley face. I'm going to treasure this note forever. I'm going to treasure this note forever. All right. Let's get to that in a second. But what I know is in here. <gasps> oh, Pam. This is so I am so happy right now. This is the Aspire Mix 21700 conversion kit that I I I just I've just been dying for this. I've been dying to run a mix as a 21700. I'm so happy. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. And Oh, you sent me pony on acid three milligram. It's because you don't like it, right? <laughs> I love Smacks Pony on Acid, Pam. Thank you. Pam, is Pony on Acid one of those like you tried it because of me, and then you hated it. Because that would make sense. Okay, this is the Aston, designed by Alliance Tech Vapor. The Aston. Aston. The Aston RTA from Pam in Canada. All right, look. I'm excited to give this a try. You said it was like the least impressive thing. That could, I know, you know, that could mean that I will like it. What? That's. Oh, I see how it works. Dual coil air or real restricted, Pam. That's a real restricted lung. Man, that's restricted. Pam, you're you're a spectacular person, and thank you so much. So much. I mean, god damn it, this was a good vape mail. This was a good vape mail. I'm so excited about my Bearded Viking custom order that came in. I'm overly excited for that gold vape snail. I'm kind of excited about that Drag X Plus Pro LES Max Limited Edition. I am pretty excited about the Nanos to have those again. The Whirl S, Sifu's, Sifu's Liquid, more, more JMW, my Mix 21700 extension. Pam, Pam, if I could give you a hug right now, I would give you a hug right now because this makes me so happy. So happy. Even the weird RTA that you're like, this is a weird RTA. It makes me happy. Weird RTAs make me happy. All right. All right. Kick ass. Well, that was uh, mail. That's all the mail that's fit to fit to open, I guess. What a mail day. What a mail day. Can you see how cool that orange is on there? Am I, I'm, am I overly impressed with this? Yes. I'm overly impressed with that orange on there. I just love the crap out of that. All right, Bearded Viking Customs. Well, uh, I think I saw some Super Chats come in. Oh, my God, it's 634. Well, luckily, we could probably skip retro vaping tonight. No, let's not. Luckily, there are some Super Chats that came in. Uh, where did we leave off? Level 5 Loki. That's right. Justin, bro. What are you doing? You driving home? You on your way home? Toot scootin' boogie. Toot scootin' boogie. Hang on. Before we get anywhere. <laughs> Fishy. Okay. More seatbelt. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things that, that has ever existed. You have to you guys have to go watch the Monday build stream I did with Kent where we did staggered fuse Claptons just this week. <laughs> Kent went on a great rant. Isn't that what that was that on Monday? We were talking about how more seatbelt doesn't make you safer. Like, why would you want more seatbelts? Anyway, fishy. That's awesome. <laughs> let's, uh, 
Here, we'll sing happy birthday to the happy birthday people right after these super chats. Mua, I made it. I'm super tired, but I'm here. Still going to catch up when I go to work tomorrow. Stay cloudy, bro. Yo, yo, I to ya. Yo, yo, I to ya, Mua. I appreciate you being here. And you know what? If you're super tired, just like you can take a nap. Take the night off. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not demanding. I don't make you clock in to be here. This is, uh, this is supposed to be fun, like, you know, hang out fellowship times, bro. So you can come whenever you want. The gate's open, you know? Just come and leave whenever whenever you please. Just come and go. Uh, Dan, you'll eat those words. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, I did eat those words. I definitely ate those words, and I ate them, and they tasted like apple custard. That's what they tasted like, Dan. Uh, Eifer says, Nick's joining the Borg Collective. Resistance is futile. Futile, he'll be six of 66. Okay. If I were to join the Borg Collective, I'd be six of 66. You can't, you don't choose to join the Borg Collective. You just get assimilated. Everybody knows that. Eifer, are you even a Star Trek fan? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I would never gatekeep Star Trek. Never. I have a hard enough time finding friends and people that are into Star Trek to begin with. I would never tell someone you're not a real Star Trek fan. All right, you guys, mail is success. That is success. Let's do another <gasps> circle pit. Okay, okay. So really, we only did two random liquid tastings so far? Three? I had five planned. This is going to be the last one. This is going to be the last one. So it's going to have to be for all the fucking marbles, you guys. All of the marbles. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Here, we're going to set these aside. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Oh. This is going to be a tough one, you guys. I think this is going to be the last liquid tasting. We've only done two. I feel like three isn't like an oops, all liquid tastings type of thing. Three is like, why'd you do so many liquid tastings? Three is like, that seems excessive. But four would be like, oh, funny. Let's just do some back-to-back. -back. Let's do two back-to-back -back liquid tastings because I'm having fun hanging out and I like hanging out with you guys, okay? I said it. I like hanging out with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's enjoyable to me, okay? We're going to do two. We're going to do two more liquid tastings. So that way everybody gets a fair shot. Third, oops, third liquid tasting. The first one. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, it's going to be, uh, sorry. Okay. So three liquids, you guys need to decide. Here's what we're going to do. Sifu stash. Come on. This is roots, banana, banana roots. Oh shit. That's glass blue raz. And then lastly, do you even see what's happening right here? Do you even see that that says Jubbies? This is Jubbies the Bitch. It's literally just called the Bitch. Okay? So that means, look at me holding three bottles with one hand. It's impossible. Uh, should be hitting the chat shortly. We're going to either vote for Sifu, the Blue Raz, or the Jubbies the Bitch. <laughs> I know it's not really fair. Yeah, Jubby's the bitch. I knew was going to just jump up to the top. I knew it. I knew as soon as there was a Jubby's on the table that Jubby's is going to win. Blue Raz or the Stash? Come on, you guys. Vote with your hearts. Vote with your hearts. I'm going to leave that stream up for just a hot second. I'm going to go take a bio break. Keep voting. 
Keep voting. Don't stop voting. Jubbies. did we land oh no real surprises here jubbies the bitch is uh it's winning it's winning it's taking down glass the blue raz and the sifus roots banana roots that's okay that's fine because we're gonna do another one we're gonna do another random liquid tasting but for now it's going to be are you sure you want it to be jubbies? Like, don't you want, I know, fucking jubbies. Don't you want jubbies to, like, last a little longer? Don't you want to see jubbies the bitch next week, too? <sighs> Look, I'm not here to tell you how to run the stream. We're going to put jubbies in an RDA for vaping. And I feel guilty about never vaping an RDA for vaping. Here, let's put it, I don't see, I have a cool like custom Palmer's powders, powder coated white RDA for vaping. And I don't have anything cool that I can put it on. So it's just gonna have to go on this Watofo Madura, which look, is not a bad device. It's not a bad mod. I'm gonna be doing a review for this guy really very hyper soon it's got the squishiest leather cutout that's ever been a, a squishy leather cutout and we're gonna go with jubbies 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 how stoked is derek right now jubbies for fucking life forever i can't tell this looks like it's going to be a banana ice cream waffle cone kind of situation it's just called the bitch. The bitch. Let's give it a let's give this bitch a knuckle test. New Wave Dave. New Wave Dave. This this definitely has diacetyl in it. I mean I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm not saying it does. It tastes like it. You know when you taste the liquid and you're like, "Whoa, that's a little bit too rich." Whoa, that's a little bit too buttery. Whoa. This Jubbies is a little bit rich, a little bit buttery. My first instant gut reaction was, oh, yeah, diacetyl like crazy in this, which I'm not against. I miss diacetyl. I think it's stupid that we self-regulated it out of existence. See, that was one of those unscientific arbitrary things we did too. <laughs> the vaping industry did that. We did that to ourselves. Even though there's literally no science ever shows that diacetyl can give you vape, you know, can give you popcorn lung if you vape it or if you smoke it. <laughs> but we got rid of delicious diacetyl buttery flavor just because of a perceived harm. Perceived harm. It's crazy to me. All right, Jubbies, the bitch. I'm expecting bananas. I'm expecting waffle cones. I'm expecting vanilla ice cream. I'm expecting a little bit of diacetyl. I'm expecting greatness. Uh, I have to change the batteries in this. I knew this day was coming. We all knew this day was coming. All right, Jubbies. Jubbies, Jubbies. Okay, there we go. 
0.17. Ooh, might turn it a little bit down from 80 watts. Let's try 70 watts. All right. Here we go. Jubby's the bitch in an RDA for vaping and the Watofo Mdura. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. All right. Uh, let me sit with this for a second. And we'll come back and talk about it. No chill beats for you. Just seventh floor tango all day long. Say something now. Oh my God, Jubbies. Oh my God, Jubbies. Um, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is great. This is legitimately awesome. <laughs> um, it's a banana ice cream waffle cone thing. It tastes like custard to me. And there is definitely... Definitely, 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 definitely diacetyl in this. I mean, I can't say for sure. But there is a buttery component to this that I have not tasted since diacetyl. I don't know if they have some sort of fake, better for you diacetyl, different diacetyl, but... This is the butteriest, creamiest, awesomest liquid ever. All it takes is a little diacetyl. It's delightful. This is banana, banana ice cream butter diacetyl butter. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's literally awesome. Now, I'm not a proponent of vaping diacetyl, but I definitely think you should because there's nothing wrong with it and it's delicious. It is freaking delicious. But listen, diacetyl is one of those things that's like preconceived notions in your head. You're kind of like, well, now I'm a little bit scared of diacetyl because I've heard so many bad things about it. Don't be, don't have to be. I vaped gallons of diacetyl. And again, this is like a, a logical fallacy here by using me as an example saying, well, I've vaped lots of it and I've never had a problem. It's a, it's a hard logical fallacy to fall into, but it's the only one I can fall into right now because I like diacetyl and I miss diacetyl and I vaped a fuck ton of diacetyl stuff. And I used to have this guy uh, who lived up in Colorado, John, John, he used to make me this diacetyl banana flavor that I just loved. He, he made me like 500 mils of it, and that's all it was. It was like a banana custard with a whole mess of diacetyl in it, and oh, it was so good. It was the best liquid I've ever had. Best liquid I've ever had. Add a little diacetyl into some custard. Your custard game will go up a 1,000%. Overdrip. Just throw some diacetyl. <laughs> 
Just throw some diacetyl in there. This is incredible. This I love this Jubbies. I am am having a little bit of a love affair with this Jubbies right here. It makes me want to get out like a cool white mod or something to run this RDA for vaping on because this liquid is the bomb.com. Yep. Suicide Bunny used to make great liquid, then they took the diacetyl out and it sucked. Legitimately sucked. Oh, this is glorious. Glorious, buttery, smooth deliciousness. Badlands, you out there in Colorado, bro? Yeah, uh, you make an excellent point. No one, I just want to repeat this because I'm vaping diacetyl and I love it. No one outside of a microwave popcorn factory has ever contracted popcorn lung ever there is no smoker that has ever contracted popcorn lung despite cigarettes having 700 times more diacetyl in them there's no vapor in the recorded history of vaping that has ever ever come down with popcorn lung and we used to vape diacetyl in the gallon size see maybe it is frames listen i got this out because of you I got this out today because of you. I just want you to know that. And that flavor is banging 9,000, bro. It's banging. It's the same thing with like, God damn it. There's, we just use so much bad science in the United States to justify things. It's like the whole, you know, the, the health department in New York urged uh, Andrew Cuomo to ban vaping because of a perceived risk from COVID-19. They had no science, no studies, no data, not even a hypothesis, not even one droplet of evidence. And they just said, nope, well, we got to ban it. It's just, just a gut reaction. I think that smoking and vaping are going to lead to, you know, getting COVID quicker. So therefore we need to ban it. I'm basing this on nothing, but we need legislation for it. It's insane. It's insanity. And it's the same thing with diacetyl. I mean, it's not really the same thing with diacetyl. But there's no evidence that diacetyl is uh, in a vape liquid. Could It could potentially be bad for you. I just think it's awesome. And look, I don't mind in 10 years looking stupid. Like if I have popcorn lung in 10 years, I'll be like, all right, well, maybe vape less diacetyl. I won't. <laughs> I won't. All right. Fuck yeah, Jubby's diacetyl. That's it, you guys. Three liquid tastings. Maybe that's enough liquid tastings to justify like an oops, all liquid tastings. Should we do another one? Should we just do one more? Uh, yep. Yeah, New Wave Dave says, I need more diacetyl e-liquid in my life. Look no further than Jubbies. Look no further than Jubbies. Oh, all right. So that means it's just down to, okay, no, we have a bunch more. Um, let's do, let's just do SIFAs, right? Do we even need to vote? Okay. I'll, let's do a, let's do a poll and, uh, Let's do, a, I'm gonna do a poll. Final liquid tasting. Okay, please, please vote now. Well, I get an RDA. Please vote now. Please vote now. Oh, who won? Oh, 
Oh, Sifu's banana root. I like that people are voting for both of them, like just going back and forth. If you guys can make them like 50-50, God, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Although still try. Sifu mustache. Sifu, Sifu, sorry, I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Sifu mustache. Uh, he has been around for years. You've been a patron for a long time. And uh, I got to taste some of Sifu's like really early vape stuff, man. That root that root beer float you did was awesome. The Peach Among the Worlds was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's someone's birthday today. It's someone's birthday today. Do you know who bir whose birthday it is? Do ya? Huh? It's Mother Trucking Patrick Conquest birthday. Does anybody else have any birthdays? Let me know in the chat. Just throw up your, throw up, be like, yes, it's my birthday. Even if it's just this week. That's all I care about. If you have a recent birthday, I want to know about it because I want to sing to you. There's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> Literally nothing you can do to stop me. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Mother Truckin' Patrick Conquest. Bro, I hope you had a great, 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 great birthday. I hope everybody sings with me. I can tell when you don't. Happy birthday to you, Patrick Conquest, and anybody else whose birthday it is. Technically, his birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patrick Conquest. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room, Patrick Conquest. Happy birthday, Patrick Conquest. Happy effing birthday, Patrick Conquest. Let's have some... Berg. Is it Bogan's birthday today? Oh, it's Bogan's birthday. Oh, well, in Australia, it's next week, so... Yes, that was for happy birthday for Bogan as well. S Bogan, I just sang you happy birthday, bro. Let's knuckle test this. Uh... This is this is everything I'm looking for. Sifu, how did you know? How did you know? How did you know, Sifu? I got some roots, banana roots right here, bro. This is the culmination, like, I have been dying. I've, I've made a few of my own root beer banana flavors, and they were never that good. I've had a different few, like, my own versions of banana root beer. They're never that good. But Sifu, he's like a, he's like a flavor wizard type of guy. So let's see how we go. We got this on the big, uh, big old def box. Yeah. Yeah, I got this in a Goon 1.5, just for no real reason other than I like the Goon 1.5. Crackle City, Utah. Yeah. Turn this airflow down just about halfway. Pop this right in front of that airflow. Oh, Sifu. Yeah, Tribal Buddha, your birthday is seven days after Pickles, so yours is in February? Or yours is the twenty is yours is January twenty eighth? Did I just guess your birthday? Huge birthday to Bogan. I, damn it, I should have sung him happy birthday on the on the stream on Tuesday. I don't know why I didn't. Nobody vapes. You're you mean to tell me that Against is the best Sepultura album? All right. I'm gonna give it another shot. I think Chaos AD is the best Sepultura album. But that doesn't much matter. Sifu! Banana root beer. It's called root banana root. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Try not to get too excited. Try not to get too excited. Let's do the thing. 
that we do where I sit with this for just a second. I don't think I'm going to need much time though, you guys. Oh my God, Sifu, killing me, bro. This is so good. Here's the thing. It just works. Banana and root beer, I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. There's no logic to this flavor pairing, but root beer and banana just taste awesome together. Completely awesome together. In fact, I want to pair it with this beer. Uh, that's right, I got to vape for Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. This roots, banana roots is far and away the best root beer flavor that I've had. I think this is better than kick it root down Sifu. And I'm not even joking. The banana component to this lends itself like uh, the creamiest creamy cream of creamy. Just picture like Picture like a root, like the creamiest root beer that exists with like this little whisper of just banana top notes. But mostly what you get from the banana is like this creamy, just taint grab. It's beautiful. It's like a, it's like, I can't even explain it. It's a really hyper creamy, beautiful, perfectly sweetened root beer with just like this little bone of, with like this little backbone of banana. Damn, it's good, Sifu. Damn, it's good. It just works. It just works. Sifu, you're my new favorite. <laughs> just kidding. But you kind of are my new favorite, but kind of this is amazing. This is everything I wanted, bro. <sighs> everything I wanted. It, it is. Nick, it's like a little taint grab. It's like, it's just a creamy little taint massage right there. <laughs> oh my God. Sifu, if you threw some diacetyl in this, it would literally make me fully engorged every time I vaped it. And then that would just be fact. That would just be facts. Holy crap, this is good. Uh, pick this up from Sifu right away. If you're into root beer, if you're into root beer, this root beer banana is killing it. Killing it. I kind of just can't get enough of it. Just can't get enough. 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 I just can't get enough. Damn, it's really good, Sufu. That might be like my new summer banger. It even tastes like, I don't know if this is intentional. It's a little bit uh, chocolatey. Like there's, it, it, it tastes like there's a little bit of chocolate in this. There's a little bit of chocolate in this, just type four. And if there's not, then type the dab emoji. <laughs> Make this as complicated as I can. <laughs> All right. Damn it, you guys. We ran long again. Let me take one quick look around the room and make sure there's nothing I forgot. Cheers. Two beer vlog, four liquid tastings. Man. 
We did it. No retro vaping, no getting to know Grim Green this week. I'm I'm it's I'm kind of out of records and I need some more records for getting to know Grim Green because that's really like the core of it. That's the backbone of it. And so I like adding songs to the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist, but we're not going to do that this week. Next week, I think I've played you Glacier before, but I think I'm going to play you a new Glacier song that I was just listening to today. My old band, Glacier, they're incredible. We were incredible. I love the shit out of us. And I'd like to play you some Glacier. So maybe we'll do that next week. Voivod? Uh, bro, I used to be into Voivod back in the day. I used to get into Voivod. Some Voivod when, uh, you know, who was in uh, 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 Metallica guy? Jason Newstead was in Voivod. I like the Jason Newstead Voivod era. There is a little booze. Oh, okay. Okay, Sifu. All right, let's get to these super chats. Let's finish this up, you guys. That's it. That's it. Uh, we got a couple super chats here. Duchess says, shout out to Jess and Dom, owners of Jubbies, who's also in the chat. Uh, I love huge Jubbies. If you guys are in the chat, I just want you to know that Jubbies has become like the largest inside joke between me and my patrons. All we do is talk about Jubbies with no real context. We just say Jubbies. We just say Jubbies 2021. Jubbies 2024. Love Jubbies. And you guys, this, the bitch, thank God for Jubbies. I haven't had a delicious buttery diacetyl filled liquid in a while. And that, if there's not diacetyl in it, please let me know. But I feel like there is. And if there is, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Just let, let it be a mystery, you know? Let it be a mystery, Dom. Let it be a mystery. Did I say Don or Dom? Dom and Jess, appreciate you guys. Appreciate that jubbies. Appreciate, we, we, we appreciate the jubbies here. We love some big jubbies. Eifer, Taint Grab sounds like a butthole surfer's no effect super group. I don't know why that doesn't exist. I would pay money to see that super group live. Definitely. Tank Grab. Have you heard the new Tank Grab song? Fishy Web Cramp. <laughs> We've gone long. Look, we just went long. <laughs> There's no way around it. Sometimes we just get wrong. Uh, yeah, but we spell it J-U-B-B-I-E-S, not Y-S, because uh, I forgot how to spell Jubbies. So I apologize there, Jubbies. But uh, we spell it wrong, and it means and it means uh, other things from a patrons. But I just want you guys to know, this has become a huge inside joke with me and my patrons, along with Yak Bong. Yak Bong. <laughs> Sifu, this shit is good. See foo for the win. All right, you guys. Well, I have a hell of a mess to clean up, but we're doing some post vlog yo yo hangs discord. I'll see you guys there as soon as I possibly can. But uh, yeah, I think we're done here. I think we're done here, you guys. This has been a damn, damn, damn fun, good ass vlog day. What a good ass vlog day. I, you guys, I look forward to vlog day so much. It's, it's my favorite time. I love coming here. And just getting to hang out and fellowship and just the positive energy that we have here and the, like this community that we've created, it's so awesome. I really look forward to this. And I think all week long about things I can throw in the vlog and stuff I can put in here and like cool pictures or videos or retro stuff or like, you know, I like it. I like to craft the vlog and I really look forward to it. And this is just my favorite fucking time of the week. And I love that you guys are here and that we get to... Like we get to hang out together. I think that's cool. I, that makes me excited. So shout out to anybody who shows up live. Shout out to all of the replay crew, hashtag replay crew. I, I love you guys more than you know. If you're replay crew, please leave a comment down below on the replay of this video. And the rest of you guys, I, I just want to say big love. Be excellent to each other. Remember, vaping is at least a thousand times better for you than burning deadly carcinogen-filled tobacco combustible cigarettes. All of the science shows that vaping is way better for you. All of the science shows that vaping works for smoking cessation. Don't listen to the lies. Don't listen to Bloomberg. Yak bong! Be excellent to each other, you guys. Big love. Peace out. And uh, yeah. Till next week, big love. Let's keep on vaping, you guys.